hello friends welcome to this new video today we are going to start a new chapter and it is chapter number 4 business services today we will discuss about the services only in this video we will see the meaning of service its features and uh, how it is different from goods okay friends so let's start the topic now business services this chapter we are going to start with one example all of you have seen a petrol pump have you ever thought how a petrol pump owner does his business how he gets petrol and diesel how he communicate to depots how he safeguard himself from various risk in business how he arrange money to purchase large quantity of petrol and diesel the answer of all these questions lies in understanding of business services like transportation is used to bring petrol and diesel from refinery to petrol pump warehousing is used by company to store petrol and diesel most of the oil company have depots in all major cities across india communication is used for uh, keeping in touch with uh, customer banks and depots it includes postal and mail services telephone services and internet and email is there even we all are using all these services in our daily life also like when we are coming school we are using transportation service when we are paying school fees by check we are using banking services when we are communicating with each other like uh, mobile internet or whatsapp we are using communication services and uh, in uh, our parents are also taking insurance of uh, family or car so we are also using insurance services but one thing we all have to remember here goods and services both are different a uh, goods is a physical product and it is possible to transfer the ownership of it from seller to customer like car mobile house school bag notebooks are there while services are intangible in nature here you are not getting anything physically like taking advice from doctor taking advice from advocate or taking advice from chartered accountant and services are intangible activities that provides satisfaction of wants and it is separately identifiable and it is not necessary to be associated with the sale of any other product or services now let's see its feature for better understanding of its nature There are five basic features which make it different from goods. It is also known as five eyes. First is intangibility, second inconsistency, third is inseparability, fourth is inventory and the last is involvement. Let's see second important characteristic of service is inconsistency. Since services are not standard tangible product that's why it has to be performed exclusively each time in market we can see different customers have different demands and expectation so service providers should have opportunities to change their services to fully satisfy customers need we can see this thing in mobile services lots of monthly plans are there which is offered to customer and they are purchasing it as per their different requirements another important feature of service is inseparability it means production and consumption of services is simultaneously performed so this makes production and consumption of service inseparable in case of goods it is possible to manufacture today and sell after one month but it is not possible in services services has to be consumed as and when they are produced the service provider can use the technology in place of person engaged in that process but the key feature of service is customer interaction like atm machine may replace bank clerk for the withdrawal of cash and deposit of a check but at the same time the presence of customer is required and his interaction is also mandatory next is inventory there is no physical component in services so it is not possible to store them for future 
it is perishable in nature so the service provider can store some associated goods but cannot store service itself it means demand and supply needs to be managed because service has to be performed as and when customer demands for it they cannot be performed earlier to be consumed or at a later date for example a railway ticket can be stored but railway journey will be experienced only when the railway provides it last one is involvement remember participation of customers in process of a service providing is most important feature of service one more thing is here customer can get modified services according to their specific requirements now let's see difference between services and goods on the basis of uh, features we have seen like uh, services is a uh, activity or process like uh, we are watching uh, movie in multiplex in the case of goods it is a physical uh, physical component uh, like uh, we are uh, purchasing a dvd of any movie in the case of services it is heterogeneous means uh, or every time a different experience it is giving in the case of goods it is homogeneous each time if you are purchasing same product the same product you will get in the case of services it is intangible in the case of goods it is tangible in the case of uh, services inconsistencies there different customers have a uh, different de- uh, different demands uh, so here in the case of mobile services are there they are purchasing different uh, plans in the case of goods uh, different customers are getting standard products or standard products to fulfill their requirements so whatever goods are suitable to your requirement that you are purchasing uh, here in services uh, production and consumption is simultaneously performed in the case of goods uh, production and consumption may be different means uh, today the car is manufactured today but it may be sold after one month uh, in the case of services services cannot be stored all right in the case of goods it can be stored and afterwards you can sell in services participation of customer at the time of service delivery is a mandatory all right in the case of goods it is not mandatory like uh, when car is manufactured at that time your involvement is not there so here our topic is over i hope you understand everything properly